Hi, Daniel from DS Arms here. I'm at the SHOT Show 2014 in Las Vegas at the Sands Convention Center. A lot of stuff happening at our booth this year. Uh, we've got our new products out. We also uh, have Dale Comstock uh, joining us. He's going to be signing his book. And we also have Brothers in Arms that uh, have a clothing line that have designed some shirts for us. So a lot of activity at the show today. Uh, I'm going to walk around, see if we can talk to some of our uh, vendors that uh, we sell their product and they sell ours. So we'll see what's new, see if there's something we can uh, show you that can pique your interest. I'm here with Mike Fowler, our Director of Sales. Uh, he's got some products that uh, he's going to introduce to you, tell us a little bit about it. Mike, uh, can you tell us what's new for the show this year? I've got a few new items uh, this year for SHOT Show, uh, kind of a wide range, including all of the different firearm platforms that, that we offer. Um, we're going to start with our newest foul creation. We refer to this as our lightweight FAL. It's completely custom from stock to flash hider. We did everything that we could to lighten this as much as possible. We modified the receiver, we have modified the lower trigger frame, the scope mount. This has a retail price point of $2,100. This is our Voyager rifle. Uh, this is our newest offering for an affordable uh, entry-level FAL. One of the, the easiest things to notice is we have a Holland-style rear sight. It's very simple, very uh, easy. It still has windage elevation on it, and you have your elevation adjustment on the front sight, so you still get full range sights. It has a standard gas plug. It doesn't have the quick release. The retail price on this is uh, $1,200. This is something that we put together um, this year. It is our PDW. This originally came about with us looking at doing an AR pistol, and we figured instead of doing a pistol, why not do a PDW? This is, of course, an NFA firearm. Uh, it is a short-barreled rifle. It's got a seven-inch barrel on it. Um, we've gone with a, a rail handguard in order to uh, attach a forward grip or uh, in this case, the Magpul AFG. A lot of fun to shoot, very controllable, uh, very maneuverable. We hope to have these out by about March. This is an ultra short RPD. Uh, the whole thing is roughly under two feet with the stock all of the way closed. It's got a 10 and a half inch barrel on it. It's got our rail handguard, so you can attach a forward grip. Um, we actually replaced the traditional sights. Obviously, there's not room for them. This is just absolutely a joy to shoot. It's so light, so controllable, so maneuverable. Outfitted with the correct saw bag, you can have upwards of 170 rounds at your disposal on this. Uh, and 762 by 39, that's a, a lot of firepower going pretty fast. Here at our booth with uh, Angelica. She's busy signing some of the posters. Angelica, can you tell me uh, your experience today and how things are going? Uh, it's it's pretty interesting. It's actually my first time being at the shot show, but it uh, feels very related because in my family, my dad is a military man, so I've been surrounded since childhood with guns. And what do you think so far of the actual show? Have you been, had a chance to walk around much? Uh, not actually, just been busy signing the posters. This is only the second day and we're staying here till Friday. So we'll absolutely get a chance to walk around, been a little bit on a couple sides and seen, you know, amazing things and just just not entirely the whole, the whole show. Hi, I'm here with Joe from Troy Industries. He's got some cool products that I uh, just came across, uh, some new sites and a new rail system. Joe, can you tell us a little more about that? Thank you, Daniel. Uh, we've got our brand new Alpha sights. We've eliminated the side clamps, the side, they slide over the top. Two set screws secure them. They're spring-loaded, front and rears. We've got an elevation wheel up front for the front post, and we've also got a rear side aperture. When you flip it over to the uh, further shooting position, it'll still lie flat without interfering with the process. So these are going to be available in 30 days. They're $150 front and rear set. We're also going to have the standard uh, M4 sight configuration along with the HK front sight set. We've also got our brand new Keymod rail that we've introduced. 
These are available in the next 30 days also. We've got on with everybody else and we'll be introducing all of our new key mod rails at the same time. Right, right along with that, we've also introduced our brand new carbon fiber rail. You've got a super lightweight rail system. The advantage of an aluminum is well, aluminum and any type of steel material will retain heat. This dissipates the heat faster. It'll complement our new suppressor line that'll interface with our brand new three-pronged flash hiders that also utilize our suppressors. So these are going to be shipping in the next 30 days also. John, can you tell us a little bit how you came up with these designs? Sure, Daniel, I'd love to. When we had the opportunity to meet back at the Hollow, I kind of got inside your head after you told me about DSA. and So I got inside your head and, and we came up with some of these designs. We know that you, you like this kind of design based on the fact that it, it highlights the gun and it's fashionable. The artwork is very fashionable right now and it's not uh, equal to what you see out in the public right now. It's, it's very cutting, very, very uh, young and hip. This one, the same way. This DSA arm shirt appeals to the younger guy. You know, it's got the skull, the, it's got the, uh, the caliber. Quality, proven, durability, and reliable came straight from your website, so it makes it very easy to read. And this one, we like this idea. We, we like the idea of doing this shirt because it's actually what FAL stands for. Fusil Automatique Leisure, light automatic weapon. Put your city up there, Barrington, Illinois, DS Arms, a shield of armor, and uh, made in the United States. This appeals to the younger crowd, and we hope it appeals to you. Drew, what can you tell us about the new product you have? Well, I have a few different products here set up on this AK. Uh, I have our new MS-1 sling system. So this is a, a dedicated two-point sling, the core MS-1. It's available for $35. Uh, and you can then add all the sling attachment points to it for whatever functionality you need. But the cool thing about the MS-1 is this new slider we've figured out. Uh, we've spent months designing just the slider alone to perfectly tune it for ease of adjustment while still maintaining exactly uh, the same position you set it under all sorts of conditions. So it's easily adjusted for uh, slack with one hand and easily tightened up with just one hand. Um, that's, uh, we're very proud of uh, how the slider itself turned out and the entire sling's based around uh, how well it's doing. Uh, this particular MS-1 I have set up so that it's a two to one point convertible, uh, just like our current MS-3 sling. So you're getting the same functionality if you do want to be able to go to a, a one point configuration, just unclip from the front, clip into that rear adapter. Uh, and then you have your one-point sling uh, as you need it. We're fortunate to have Dale Comstock with us at the booth today. He's signing his book and helping us out with the Private Rhino project. Uh, Dale, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and the, the book that you're doing today? Yes, sir. Um, so anyways, I spent 20 years in the Army. Uh, four years in the 82nd Airborne Division as a scout and as an infantryman. Uh, five years in 3rd Special Forces Group as a Green Beret, light and heavy weapons sergeant, and I spent almost 10 years in the Delta Force as an operator, team leader, uh, troop sergeant, and a breacher. And then uh, once I retired, I did another nine and a half years with the government as a paramilitary contractor. Anyways, I started writing a book, and the book is really not all about me so much as it's about you and everybody else. I wrote the book to inspire young people, um, but really anybody of any age or gender. And uh, my stories are just mediums for that, uh, for that mentorship, you know. And uh, there's a lot of life stories in there, life lessons. Um, and, and there's some stuff in there about autogenic conditioning, basically how to visualize it and to, to reach certain goals in life or whatever it is you're setting out to do. Um, so that's kind of the basis of the book. Um, and then, of course, you know, as uh, moving along, uh, my, uh, my beautiful wife, Miroslava, <coughs> she's got a great story herself. And uh, I thought, you know what, you know, since we're both kind of in this whole inspirational mode anyways, and she's got a great story that would inspire women, um, we decided to write her book. Um, my wife has a great story that uh, started out in the jungles of Panama, which is where she was born. And, uh, you know, here's a person that evolved out of uh, the jungle into civilization, so to speak. And today stands beside me after running around the jungle, literally using a bow and arrow to hunt food and spearfish, um, to now she holds a master of science degree. She's an accomplished bodybuilder. 
Um, together we have six kids. In fact, we both are bodybuilders, competitive bodybuilders. We were invited here uh, with DS Arms and uh, Brothers in Arms. Um, Brothers in Arms are one of my sponsors for my apparel line, and we're also uh, associated with DS Arms as far as as far as furthering uh, furthering um, a couple of their causes. One being saving Private Rhino uh, project that you guys have in uh, in Africa. I think everybody can get behind a project like that because again, it is you know has to do with defending helpless animals. But the other beauty of it is because in the industry that we're associated with, the firearms industry, the tactical, the military, the law enforcement, um, sometimes there's a negative stigma attached to that for whatever reason. And I think this is a great way to show that you know what, firearms training, um, the tactical mindsets that we have can also be used for for the good and for saving lives rather than taking lives. So I think it's a great project to be behind. While we were walking around the show, I came across uh, an interesting product. I know a lot of people have asked me about it before, but I actually found the guy that's got it. Jason, can you tell us a little bit about it? You just gave us a demonstration. I think it's fascinating. Can sure. you show so it's us? It's an app, but it's a, a mount too. So you, you have to understand we have this aluminum mount that allows you to mount your smartphone onto your rifle and use it as a scope. There's a lot of other functionality other than that, and I can talk about that in a little bit. But basically, this app is included in the price of the product. You buy the product for $169, it includes the free download of the app. The app allows you to do some, sorry, do some basic functionality. You can go on, install custom reticles, sight it in, pick an ammunition, sight it in, do your drop compensation or your drop and your windage um, adjustments. There's a settings page that allows you to turn things on and off on the screen. And you can see the reticle, as I tilt the rifle, the reticle tilts as well. What's happening is the reticle, the, the, the app is actually calculating the bullet drop based on the orientation of the firearm rather than the orientation of vertical. You can record video. If you have internet connection, you can see wind speed, local wind speed and direction. It allows you to use the light on, the, on, the, on your smartphone. You can use it also as a strobe. It has some basic heads up display information like the date and the time, a shot clock, latitude, longitude for GPS, and uh, compass information. I'm here with an old friend of mine, Hank Iverson. He's originally from South Africa. Hank's been a good uh, customer of ours for a long time. and. Uh, he just gave me some good reports about our product that he's been using. So, Hank, can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, I work for NEK, uh, which is a um, sub-company of Cubic. We train special operations guys only. Um, and we bought 25 of your Z4s last year. Um, within one month, we put over 50,000 rounds for those guns. They were flawless. Um, we're very happy with the product. And personally, I shoot a 300 blackout from you guys. Um, again, flawless uh, performance and I uh, highly recommend your products. You know. Walking around the show, I came across ASG. They're the guys that manufacture the airsoft guns. Turns out they've actually la they're launching two of our new products at their booth. I'm here with Bob and he's going to just tell us a little bit about them. How you doing? Um, basically, we're launching two new items for DSA this year in the airsoft line. We have the SA-58. O zero or OSW. We also have, which is a full AEG. We also have the DS4 CQB, which is a spring gun entry level for the mass market. Uh, both these products are in stock. We're actually uh, selling them now in the mass market and also to the uh, dealers across the country, Canada and South America. I was just looking at the SA-58, you've done an incredible job, I, I mean, it, it weighs the same, it, it, even the operation, so very well done, I, it had me fooled for a second. Yes. It's a uh, it's one-on-one -on -one scale, that's what makes it everything along with the weight, the components that we have. Uh, it's an excellent piece, it's sharp, and it's one of the hottest uh, new items that we have in our in our offerings this year. Ken, can you tell us about your products here? Yes, we've been involved in the firearms industry for 25 years. We primarily have been working 
as an OEM supplier to the major uh, firearms manufacturers. For example, we do the 1911 grips for Colt, Smith, Ruger, Kimber, and others. Uh, we're basically designers, and so we've come up with a lot of different ideas and products uh, that fit into certain niches in the firearms business. I just stopped by the Navy Arms booth with Val Fouget, and uh, he's got some interesting stuff. Val's going to tell us a little bit about his company. Val, what can you tell us about Navy Arms? Hey, thanks, Daniel. Navy Arms started in 1956 as the originator of replica arms and ammunition. We did cowboy guns, we did replicas of Civil War guns, Revolutionary War guns. What we do now is specialize in cowboy guns. We've partnered up with Winchester and Dunk Turtle Restorations to make what we feel is the finest production 1873 rifle. The 1873 was originally made by Winchester and is made by Winchester once again. They've got a standard model that they're doing for their customers, but for our advanced cowboy shooters, they've come up with a model that's had all of the quality cues that are looked for by the finest in cowboy shooters. That includes advanced quality walnut, which is a grade one out of Joplin, Missouri, a model 71 butt plate for ease of shouldering the rifle when you come up into your shooting stance. There's a short stroke kit that the original stroke would be much longer and it's shorter so that you can maintain on target and come out with the rifle. Turnbull color case hardening, checkered at the wrist and forend, full octagonal barrel. The result again is a gun that is the finest production 1873 guns on the market today. One of the rifles that we've uh, got at the SHOT Show uh, in 2014 in Vegas is this rifle. It's called the Kefaru, which is Swahili for Rhino. Uh, a lot of attention on this. What this rifle was designed to do is highlight the fact that there's a lot of poaching going on in Africa and there's a war being waged right now against the wildlife. This particular rifle has got the Saving Private Rhino logo on it. And what that is is an organization in South Africa that trains game guards or game rangers throughout Africa, equips them with basic equipment and training, and does that all for free. So as the manufacturer that we supply a lot of the uh, rifles to wildlife agencies in Africa, we wanted to highlight the plight of the uh, poaching situation there. We did that by having this rifle painted with an African type camouflage. We had some artists to do the stippling, donate their time and effort and just to raise awareness to the problem that we have in South Africa and most of the countries in Central Africa too. So, you know, I've been told there's definitely a war waged in Africa right now and it's basically the wildlife is the target. It seems to be the only thing left. We're at the last day of the SHOT Show 2014. Uh, it's been a very interesting show. We've been very, very busy. A lot of activity at our booth this year. Um, literally haven't had time to uh, see everybody and every, anything. Did have a chance to walk around a little bit, found some cool products. Uh, so just winding down, I think we're gonna need a rest after this.